calculating data values called x with the normal distribution. Weights of apples are normally distributed with a mean of 140 grams and standard deviation of 20 grams. Okay, so highlight these values here, these are important. 30% of apples are graded as small, 20% of apples are graded as large. That's by weight. Okay, the smallest 30% will be graded as small and the largest 20% by weight are graded as large. We're looking for the maximum weight of a small apple and the minimum weight of a large apple. Okay, let's start with the first one. Now, what you're doing here is following this flowchart. You're given probabilities. Okay, we know that 30% are small and 20% are large. Okay, so from the given probabilities, we need to do the sketch and work out the Z values. 30% are small. twenty percent are large. That means in the center we have the medium apples by weight so there's fifty percent in the center. And just check what do all of these three add up to? You've got thirty there plus fifty that's eighty percent plus twenty gives you a hundred percent which is good it should add up to 100%. The horizontal axis represents the standard normal variable Z which we know has a mean of zero. So what you're looking for are the Z values that go here and here. Okay, let's start with this one here. The cumulative probability to the left of this line is 80%. By cumulative, I mean everything to the left of that line. So that's the 50 plus the 30. 80% this way, 20% to the right. From these two, if you look at the table, so that's table 4, the probability of 0 0.8, that's 80%, is in the tables. But there's nothing for 20% in the tables. So if you look at 20, there's 0 0.5 there, that's 50%, that's the lowest. So 20% is not in the tables. 80% gives you 0 0.8416. So the Z value here, 0 0.8416. This is just a number line with 0 in the center, positive values to the right, so that's a positive Z value negative z-values to the left. Okay, let's have a look at the z-value underneath this line here. The cumulative probability to the left, 30%, to the right, 70%. Again, which of these two is in the formula book? 30 or 70%? Well, there's no 0 0.3, so 30% is not in here. 70% is. 0.5244, that's the Z value. And it's negative. Okay, so we've done this step, and we've done this step. Now we just, just need to use the standardizing formula, rearrange it to work out what X is equal to. And if you rearrange the standardizing formula, you get x is equal to population mean plus z times sigma. Okay, so this is the final step now. We substitute the numbers in. So you've got x is equal to 140 plus the z value right here. And the reason I'm going to use this z value is this says the maximum weight of a small apple. They're small, 
So there must be something in this region that we're interested in. The maximum weight of a small apple is here, right there. That also becomes the minimum weight of a medium apple. And if you work along here, you eventually reach the maximum weight of a medium apple, right there which is also the minimum weight of a large apple and then you're working along here okay so for small apples small we're in this region and the maximum weight will be to the right of this region so this is the z value that we're going to use minus 0 0.5244 times the standard deviation which is 20 okay that all goes into your calculator 140 plus minus 0 0.5244 times 20 and that gives 129.5 so that's 129.5 grams now the second calculation which is this the minimum weight of a large apple is almost identical to what we've done here except we're going to use this Z value here. So if I just copy all of this working out and then make a few changes so I don't need the Z value that I had from the previous calculation or its answer there. Okay, So the Z value this time is 0 0.8416 because we're looking at something that's a large apple that's this region here and it says the minimum weight so we're looking at the left hand side of this region which is this Z value here 0 0.8416 okay again if I put in the new Z value 0 0.8416 that gives 156.8 so 156.8 grams is the minimum weight of a large apple. Okay, what we've seen here is for any question where probability is given, so you're starting at this side of this flowchart, you should mark your probabilities and the various regions in your sketch. It doesn't matter how many regions they are, just mark each one, mark the probability for each one. Make sure they all add up to 100%. You know that you have Z values along here, so zero is in the center. So these Z values that you look up from the tables will be positive. And on the left hand side here, this one here will be negative, anything on the left hand side is negative. So you've got your probabilities, you've done the sketch, put the values into the formula here and rearrange that to work out whatever you're looking for.